San Francisco 49ers. So many issues on defense. They go Eli Harold, Mel, the defensive end outside linebacker from Virginia. I thought we see splash plays with Eli Harold. I think there was also some games where it was a little too quiet for my liking. They have seven sacks this past year, eight and a half, two seasons ago. Best games in 2014. Louisville with a couple sacks. Kent State and the Duke game. He's 6'3", 247. Had a great 10-yard time. I look at him and you look at his three cone better than Dante Fowler Jr. With all that ability, I would have liked to see more domination, but the splash plays and the talent lend itself to maybe a guy who could move on past some success. You know, my former head coach at University of Richmond, who now is with the Iowa Hawkeyes, had him earlier in his career at the University of Virginia, and he wound up moving on. And I thought early in his career, he was developing very well. He loves, Jim Reed loves this guy, loves the, the ability, thinks he can translate to the next level. Just when you look at him on tape, I don't know that he consistently got better. So in San Francisco, can they develop him? And if they do develop him properly, they may have a steal. I had him with an 88 grade, which is an early second round grade. Had him as one of the best 35 players in this draft. And now San Francisco gets him at what, 79 overall. Right. Well, it's interesting you say the word steal. Chris Long of the Rams just texted me. He also said the word steal. Here's the problem for Eli that he may have to overcome. He calls Chris Long a mentor. And that's kind of an issue. Chris, we're kidding. <laughs> we love you. They, Eli says they play Xbox together all the time. And to be fair, he says Chris Long beats him all the time. So, Chris, it's okay if you beat him at Xbox. We'll see if Eli Harold can. They're going to play each other now a couple right. of times a year in the NFC West. We'll see how Chris Long and Eli Harold get along when they're opposing each other between the Niners and the Rams a couple times a year. All right, the picks come in, and they continue. Fast and Furious, what do you think about Eli Harold here? I really like the pick. Fast, athletic, outside linebacker. I love his motor. Yes. And that's probably why your coach loves him so much. This kid has a lot of want to. Yes, he needs to be developed. The one thing the Niners had to do is get some team speed back in the linebacking core. Losing Bo Borland, losing Willis. They added an athletic outside backer. Armstead is a, a fit for them yes. in the first round a lot. Paul a need. He's fit, a need but for he's them. He's a need, and he's a guy that has high ceiling as well. Huge. Had the high ankle sprain early uh, this season. His best two games were last two games of the season, yep. Florida State and Ohio State. And then the safety we talked about, Tart. This is a guy that gives you scheme versatility. Now they have four safeties on their roster that give them tremendous versatility. You go to sub packages. The 49ers defense is slowly being rebuilt. Let's not forget, they get Dorsey back this year, yes. who will be healthy. And Darnold Dockett was signed in the offseason to game records inside. It's not all gray in San Francisco like the rest of the world thinks it is. Well, and they got Navarro back practicing this week yes. for the first time since tearing his entire knee up in the 2013 NFC Championship game. So we'll see what happens there. 